Hello there, this is more of that and the lady has spoken. Today's episode is all about Adventure Mode. Adventure Mode is a game mode intended for player-created maps, limiting some of the gameplay in Minecraft. Oh hi there little horsey, you're so cute. In this mode, the player cannot directly destroy any blocks with any tools, or place any blocks in order to avoid spoiling the adventure maps or griefing servers. Adventure mode is accessible only with commands or the game mode selector. Adventure mode is similar to survival in that players receive damage from their environment. Dying is possible and players must manage hunger. However, it is different in many ways as well. In Java, blocks can be destroyed only with an item or tool that has the can destroy NBT tag and can't be destroyed by player's fist. Likewise, blocks require the can place on NBT tag to be placed. Ow! In bedrock, similarly, can underscore destroy and can underscore place underscore on NBT tags are required to destroy and place blocks. However, players are able to make use of the environment in other ways, including interacting with mobs and other entities, like killing them, turning and redstone mechanisms such as a lever on and off, and trading with villagers. Additionally, players are able to craft items as they normally would in any other game mode. Another feature is that players always spawn exactly on the world spawn, no matter where it is. Unlike survival mode, where players can spawn anywhere within a certain grid. Custom Minecraft maps make good use of adventure mode. And many custom maps are set to this game mode. Because players can't break it, they can't place blocks, thus disallowing them to destroy the map or add anything to it that would ruin it. It's often used also to protect various multiplayer servers from griefers, spiteful people and people with bad intentions. Command blocks are usually used in conjunction with adventure mode in servers and custom maps. Players with the ability World Builder set to true can break and place blocks freely on adventure mode. I can't help it, I keep wanting to fix up the village and put lights down, but I can't in adventure mode. Ow, ouch, ouch, ow. Don't hmm me, where am I supposed to sleep? Get out. You don't have any guest beds. Okay, there you go. All yours again. Thank you for letting me use it. Oh, hello, old stuff. A player can switch to adventure mode from any other game mode by using the commands forward slash game mode adventure when cheats are enabled. Now that your basic training is done, here comes a guide on how to survive in adventure mode. Surviving in adventure mode can be extremely hard because you cannot break or place a block. It is possible to survive and gather resources by finding a village among other things. Hey, you're not supposed to live there. That is a villager house. When you first spawn into your world, kill any mobs you come across, except for villagers. And make sure that when it comes to animals, you leave at least two of each so that you can breed them later. Try to avoid sprinting and jumping as much as you can to save energy. If you save energy, 
you reduce your food consumption. When it comes to killing for meat, I myself personally choose to kill cows and pigs. I can use the leather and there's nothing wasted. Killing sheep is not something I do because I cannot use the wool. That's a waste. Because even though I can make a bed, I cannot place it or use it. The only way to sleep in a bed in adventure mode is to use a bed in villager houses. Try not to eat raw meat unless you're desperate. Wait until you can cook it in a furnace. Until then, live from plants. Many villager trades can be cheap and not worthwhile, so it's important to know what trades will be useful in the long run. The most important thing to do early in the game is to search for a village. I don't know if I would be able to place a saddle on a horse. I don't have a saddle. For plains villages, if the village doesn't have a weaponsmith or a small house with a crafting table, then you may have to search for another village. But do note the Fed's villagers' coordinates. The lady says she doesn't kill sheep and there she goes killing a sheep. Oi vey. Okay, back to the topic. You'll have easier time if you find a plains village with both a weaponsmith and a small house with a crafting table. Use the crafting table in the small house for crafting and the two furnaces in the weaponsmith's forge for cooking meat. Here what we see is a blast furnace. You cannot cook food in a blast furnace. You can only melt ore. The easiest way to find a village is to first find one of these biomes. Savanna, desert, taiga, plains, snowy taiga or snowy tundra. Once you've found a biome, then you look throughout the whole biome because it will likely have a village. If you found a village with no furnace or crafting table, note the coordinates and search for another village. That way you'll at least have a place to stay for the night. It's a lot harder to find furnaces than it is to find crafting tables. In plains and desert villages, furnaces can only be found in a village weaponsmith that contains two furnaces. Testing the raw meat theory, I seem fine. I suppose sticken, sticken? Chicken still make you sick. In a savannah village, a furnace is only found in one of the village weaponsmith variants which contain two furnaces. In taiga and snowy taiga villages, furnaces are only found in village medium-sized houses which contains a single furnace. Wow, back paddle, boom! Hmm, thanks for the wood and the apple. Thank you, sir. In a snowy tundra village, the furnace is found in most houses, small, medium and mason. Remember that smokers and campfires can also cook food. But campfires are only found in taiga villages. A smoker cooks food two times faster than a furnace. A campfire cooks food three times longer than a furnace. A campfire can only cook four items at a time but it can cook different foods at the same time and it doesn't require any fuel. When you are in a village, loot the chests in all the buildings and take whatever you need. You can use lava as a trash can for useless stuff which you found in chests or you can leave it in the chests or stuff that obtained from creeper explosions. Uh, what I do, I just drop the stuff and get away from it. It will automatically despawn because I don't always have lava near me. While you are living in a village, use the chests for the storage of your own stuff. And use the barrels too. If you really have to, you can kill an iron golem for a few iron ingots, but beware. They have a lot of health and can deal big damage to you.
Gathering resources in adventure mode can be difficult because you cannot mine anything or place any blocks. Wheat to be used to breed animals or make bread, but the seeds cannot be replanted by you. And that is all from me today regarding adventure mode. I am keen to see your comments below on anything I may have missed. Take care, like if you like, consider subscribing and stay safe. You can feed animals. Okay, we can trade. I don't run away. Stop. Wait. Trade. Hello, welcome back. I just gave you stop. Stop being grumpy. Sorry, thank you, sir. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go try to find a village with a furnace or a cooker. Smoker. So I can cook my food. This is nice, you don't find one of these every day. Test Eye of Ender works. Test Ender Pearl success. It works. Oh, hi there, little red baby.